There's lots of ways to look at phased array data. Today, we'll take a look at a new one. This is the merged B-Scan view on the OmniScan and OmniPC. <music> One of the most common ways to analyze phased array data is to take a look at the C-scan and the B-scan on the same screen together. You can see the whole scan in one shot, and then you can correlate data between the two of them. If we have a B-scan that's been projected from the sectorial, the B-scan is just the A-scan at that particular angle encoded along the entire length of the scan. In order to see everything on the B-scan, you have to move that angle cursor around. So typically you would use the higher angles to inspect the weld route on the first leg. And then as you reduce the angle cursor, so sweep the angle down, you can start to see the responses at the middle of the weld and the top of the weld on the second leg. But all of this means you have to be constantly manipulating that angle cursor. So what if we could merge all of the data from all the different angles together? This is where the merged B-scan comes in. This has been available since version 5.13 on the OmniScan X3 and on OmniPC. Now, Evident has a pretty neat analogy on the website. They describe it as like one, one of those folded fans that you may have had when you were a kid, or if you were born in like the 1800s, you may have had one of these. Uh, a typical B-scan would be the view down one of those pleats. But if you fold the fan together, that makes it a merged B-scan. Now it doesn't add the data, otherwise if you did that, you'd be saturated pretty quickly. It actually finds the maximum amplitude at a particular sound path distance, regardless of what angle it is, and then we just plot those values to make the merged B-scan. Now as far as a comparison to a C-scan, remember on an Omni-scan, the C-scan is angle on the Y-axis and scan position on the X-axis, but the B-scan has sound path on the Y-axis. For a C-scan, what the machine does is it looks down along every angle and finds the hottest location along each angle. And it just plots that for every single scan position. So with a C-scan, you have no information about sound path, but you can separate the angle. On the other side, the merged B-scan is completely different. You cannot separate the angle because all of the data has been merged in the angular direction. However, you still have the sound path information. So using the two of these together is really useful. When you project a C-scan, the position of the gates matter. As you move the gates around, the C-scan will change, projecting only those pieces which are inside the gates. On a B-scan or a merged B-scan, the position of the gates don't matter because we're actually retaining all of the information in the sound path direction. Each view is useful for data interpretation. Let's take a look at a data file. Here's an ABCS view. This is using the regular B scan. And you can see the flaws show up in the C scan fine because they're all separated by angle. But when I use the regular B scan, I have to move that angle cursor back and forth to get them to show up to sort of match the C scan. Now, if I switch to the merged B-scan view, that whole activity of swinging the angle cursor back and forth, we don't have to do that anymore because we're really only looking at one combined strip. And what happens is because this weld doesn't have really any competing geometry signals, the data looks a lot like the C-scan. But what happens if we have relevant indications at one angle and non-relevant geometry indications at another angle, but they both have the same sound path? load up a different file. This is exactly what's happening on this one with the porosity at around 60 millimeters. We boost the palette, add some soft gain to get us a fighting chance of seeing anything. Look at the regular B and C scans. They look okay as I move the angle cursor back around. But when I switch to the merged B scan, you'll see that porosity just vaporizes. And that's because there's a competing geometry signal at that particular sound path. And the porosity just kind of gets lost in there. That's okay, we've set up our gates properly so we can actually still see that on the C-scan. But not all is lost because if we scroll down and we get to around the 300 millimeter point, you'll see that there's a crack. Now, it doesn't show up that well on the C-scan because the crack is at the same angle as the root geo, which just happens to also be sort of loud around that spot. But the B-scan data looks great. Why? Because the crack is showing up at a different sound path position slightly earlier than that weld root geo, and it shows up really nice. This is on Omni PC5, but with Omni PC5, it's totally free software. And in fact, it's all I ever use when I analyze OmniScan data. And it just so happens that it will work totally fine, even if you load an MX2 OPD file. All of the views are useful and complementary in some way. So the C scan is useful, the B scan is useful, and the merge B scan is useful. 
I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for watching.